we will to check in now. Uh, certainly. Uh, how long will you be staying? Oh, the great need. That uh, depend upon how long it takes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I am here on the personal request of your governor in case to consult with Schwarzenegger and von Schremer I like this. So uh, I hope that his uh, office has on the reservation gemaakt. Yeah, it's not a problem, Dr. Schemerman. We can accommodate you. Oh, Schatz, Arnold will be so smitten with you. Oh, excuse me, uh, uh, Dr. Schemerman? Schemerman. Uh, there seems to be a problem with your credit card. Yeah. The number has come up as the same account of another guest of the hotel. How's that possible? Dr. Von Schemerman. Schemerman. It's right here in our records. You have the exact same credit card number as another guest of the hotel. Yeah, yeah. Well, that would be uh, Scott Baldwin, thank you. I'm not surprised that he in the hotel here blithed. Baldwin and uh, uh, Schemerman have in business together, but I sue him for all the stone Eichel is worth, and Eck have then the custody on the cards. Bell him. Tell him, come down here now. But Schemerman in in Stuck you on my hoof. We'll get hey, hey. I already called him. Mr. Baldwin isn't in his room. But I'm afraid I can't use this card until the matter's been cleared up. Gummer, it's okay. It happened under a cart. We'll use mine. Yeah, Zeker? Bin you sure of Schatz? What? This card is issued to a Tracy Quartermain. I know. Ouch! But you checked in as Frau von Schemermann. Good, good. That was good. <laughs> Perhaps you should explain what's going on here. You had my passport, my driver's license, and several credit cards. What more do you need to prove I'm Tracy Quartermain? We owe it to our guests to maintain security. I'm sorry if that's inconvenient, but you did try to register under a false name. There is an Perfect rationale for this explanation. Liefde, tell the man. This is Hollywood. I can't believe that I am the first guest to check in under an assumed name. Of course, we have celebrity clients. Don't you understand the Frau's need for discretion? My husband is a drunk and a liar and probably a bigamist. I seek consolation wherever I can find it. Enter von Schemermann. <laughs> I have a fantastic understanding of women whose uh, spouses cheat on them. It is Menzen Zeichen, my speciality. I'll say, charge the room, give me my damn key. Right away, madam. <sighs> Well, life, that was hardly subtle. Well, it worked, didn't it? Which is a lot more than I can say for you. My work's just begun. So we know Scott Baldwin is here in the hotel. Now we find out if Laura's with him, and if not, where he took her. Okay, so here we are in the hotel that you believe Scott brought Laura to. Got a plan? I'm gonna break into his room. Be my guest. Are you bailing on me? <laughs> if you need a chambermaid or a masseuse or a room service waiter, you're on your own. You want to call that bailing? Fine. I call it self-preservation. Okay, I'll do it myself. Just ring his room and hang up after the first ring if he comes back into the hotel. Can you do that for me? Yes, I can. But why would I? In fact, I think I should go home to Port Charles and leave you to rescue your damsel in distress all by your lonesome. Please, cut your old man some slack. I didn't want this to happen. You think that I expected this to happen? It's always just the luck of the draw with you. I don't blame you, but I also cannot stand by and idly watch my marriage disintegrate. I don't bow out gracefully. I'm not made that way. Why 
one fell out at all. You don't get it. This is not going to end well for us. 